guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you, Leo? Welcome all cross watchers for Leo. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, I'm happy you landed here today. It is full moon in Sagittarius day. Yes, so just we're just past that full moon now. Um, hope you have your full moon rituals going. <laughs> Um, I did do a reading for the full moon that was uploaded yesterday, so it's not certainly not too late to check it out. Um, I give you some oracles, some um, astrological insights about the lunation, and then there's a, a tower reading, so go check it out. Okay, I'm pulling from Cosmic Journey for you to activate the reading. Oh, I love, I love that we're all in sync here with the fire energy. Um, card 12, enter one step forward, one step onward in your cosmic journey. It feels very much like a maze, but one step forward puts you one step onward on your path. Lovely message. Yes, we're all stepping forward. May has so far been... Um, Kind of a nice rebound from all the upheaval of the first quarter of the year, plus April was wild. Um, so I'm kind of enjoying it. I hope you are too. We are in Gemini season now as I record this. So yeah, a little more chatty, optimistic. What I'm going to do is pull the spread, give you my general impressions. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and then we will get the details from the clarifiers. Oh my goodness. Oh. So <clears throat> this is a twin flame spread that I use. And I'm looking at you and I'm looking at your divine counterpart. But we open with your shared energy together, which is the Ten of Cups. So when we're opening with the Ten of Cups, it is sort of that moment where we're like, oh, this is how this is supposed to feel, right? The happily ever after card, emotional um, fulfillment like on steroids. It's happiness, it's bliss, it's nirvana. It feels very good, very beautiful, but sometimes it eludes our, our grasp. And I feel like, when I look at the two of you and where you are right now with each other on this journey, you are coming in here with the tower energy. And remember, for those of you especially who are cross watchers, it can all come through reverse too. So just whichever side resonates more for you is fine. But you're coming in with tower energy, which is talking about something that is either unstable or feels like it, it, it's crumbling beneath your feet. It can also be um, about something that has been unsustainable throughout the course of this connection. Now, for those of you who are feeling tower energy as we speak, your person, Knight of Cups, this is an offer from the heart. Um, it's the most romantic card in the deck, and it de definitely feels like that's where this person is at this moment, is you know, making, preparing to make at least that offer, since we're all focused on the 10 of cups, you may feel, you know, like it's not possible, but this is someone who may be preparing to come towards you. So now your karmic challenge is the magician. And I love this for you because it is talking about your karmic challenge is around understanding your power and your mastery that you have all the elements working for you you have all the tools at your disposal a pentacle a sword a cup and what's the other one <laughs> a pentacle a sword a cup what am i forget oh and a wand lord for a leo i forget the wand senior moment <laughs> i'm like huh? Yeah, you have it all working for you here, guys. So it is about manifestation and um, believing in your power in that, you know, in terms, oh my God, I got myself so verklempt. 
Yes, if your karmic challenge is the magician, it's because you don't believe in your powers to manifest your desired outcome and you're unaware of and, and or not claiming that you have all the tools you need. Whew, lordy. And your person's karmic challenge, nine of swords, this is somebody who may get preoccupied with things running on a loop in their mind, may get a little obsessed adjacent, may struggle with um, lots of thoughts that flood their mind and sort of not in a good way. Um, so it's interesting that their present experience for this connection or where they're at right now is about making an offer from the heart and what they have to overcome is the monkey mind. Very much part of the message of that full moon in Sagittarius, by the way. So the opportunity here is the Ten of Swords. Obviously, the opportunity isn't for a painful ending. The opportunity is to get beyond the painful ending, right? Like when you see the Ten of Swords, boom, that's done. It, it has already happened. So I am feeling once we see the clarifiers, there might be an opportunity for how to come back from it because divine guidance here is the King of Cups. So if the divine guidance is the King of Cups and we got the Knight of Cups and we got the Ten of Cups, Okay, do you see where I'm going here? It's about emotional availability. It's about um, vulnerability. It is about deep feelings that maybe have gone unexpressed here to four. So now that we have sweated through my opening, let's go ahead with the 10 of cups. Thank God you love me, Leos, because you are the one sign that is always most forgiving of my Mrs. Magoo moments. All right. So yes, with this 10 of cups, the, your shared energy on this journey has been fears that it will never come to pass that you've waited for so long, feeling really disillusioned. Like where's my happily ever after? So I can see where there might be a little bit of, and I have seen it in other signs. A, a little bit of um, what I call catastrophizing, right? Just It just seems so impossible, and it's not. It, it, it is a timing reference when you see the Seven of Pentacles, and so I understand that when you can't see how things are unfolding behind the scenes, you can really get lost in some disappointment and disillusionment. So let's look at the tower now. Queen of Cups to the now we have everything but the page. Yes, getting beyond the tower. Getting beyond the tower is the message here. Keeping your heart open, moving to calmer waters, getting that peace of mind. The motivation is there, that ace of wands in your unconscious awareness, but can also be playing out behind the scenes. So I feel like your person here can be getting up that motivation and inspiration to kind of come towards you and be a little vulnerable about what sort of fell apart in the past. So I do feel that this is a tower moment that has, it could have happened very recently, so that's fine, but I don't feel for most of you, it's a general reading, not a private reading, so you have to take it as it resonates for you. But for most of you, it has already happened. It isn't happening right now because this is showing you with an open heart to move beyond it with a capacity to, you know, to kind of cut yourself a little slack to, we have a king and queen of cups, so we know you're connected at the level of heart and soul. And it feels like that tower is sort of moving slowly into the rear view mirror. Let's see the knight of cups. Magician again, interesting, ace of cups. Ooh, five of wands. So there's been trouble in paradise uh, for sure, but your person is feeling that sense that you have to work on your karmic challenges to work on this, but your person is sort of stepping into their mastery with manifestation because you're, you're the keeper of their heart. You're the one. You might be the one that got away, you might, but it's like the love of a lifetime. And look at the, the Knight of Cups carrying that ace to you. Um, despite the conflicts that have existed before, it feels like they're overcoming it. They're, they're kind of stepping into their sense of um, power. That is also a theme that's been coming through a lot. So let's look at you with your karmic challenge around the magician. 
eight of pentacles, ace of pentacles, nine of cups. So for you, it is a lack of belief. The magician coming through kind of reversed, right? Um, not feeling at all equipped to work through the difficulties and forge that new beginning. Um, the ace of pentacles here feels to me like there's part of this connection that just sort of ended in a very dramatic fashion tower and ten of swords and for many of you it feels like it's been a long time ago um seven of pentacles is my cue for the for the how much time has passed so for those of you that are going yep it's been a while um i feel in some way you've lost that sense of um competency to you like you're you're not feeling that you have any capacity to manifest an outcome you desire or that you've lost faith in the ability here to sort of work through it and get on the other side of it and find some wish fulfillment now that nine of cups can come through also as some measure of complacency kind of like well maybe this is as good as it gets so i'm not even gonna try so this is your karmic challenge it will take focused effort energy attention to kind of get your your magician working for you again your inner magician working for you again that is mercury mercury was retrograde for most of april it was a disaster and did its um, post retrograde shadow for the um, first half of may so we're past that now so maybe it's time to kind of revisit your manifestation game for your person their uh, karmic challenges the nine of swords worry anxiety over yes over you for sure little virgo energy there hello virgo i mean essentially same thing with the magician just saying yeah um feel whenever this person thinks about you and the two of you together and maybe envisioning that opportunity to kind of um recreate the balance and harmony that existed in this connection before all hell broke loose um, so i feel like this person kind of gets stuck in the weeds of their thoughts and um almost can't see it with any measure of positivity um, the nine of swords when you look at it in most tarot cards she's got her head in her hands and she's sitting up sleepless in bed in the middle of the night it's that kind of worry that keeps you up um and that runs on a loop and so therefore you know no it, it interrupts the smooth flow of cognitive processing of any kind that would say yeah this is possible so you both have a similar karmic challenge if you're if you're hearing that like i'm hearing that you both have this sort of crisis of confidence to some degree um and you might that might be part of what you're mirroring for each other is how to you know gain your inner strength that strength card right which represents a sign of leo overcoming obstacles and sort of helping each other get a leg up even if only energetically so let's look at the opportunity when it comes to the ten of swords the star finally healing it slowly more virgo yes look things come in full circle we had the ending so the new beginning is next um this is really beautiful leo I, I love that the opportunity is for you know really being having the conscious intention to bring some healing to this connection lessons have been learned we don't have to learn them again the world card is saturn so you've already learned the lessons and very much the hard way and now it's time to kind of be very very clear about what you want this thing to look like the knight of pentacles to me i mean knights make offers so whatever's happening here it isn't going to happen lickety split it's it's got it's got some time already behind it and so we're not going to rush now we're going to take our time we're going to make sure we've got a plan we move forward with conscious intention and sometimes i'll do caution so keep that in mind the ten of swords man that leaves a mark so you don't want to be impulsive about this you want to let that healing unfold and that's the opportunity here so now let's look at divine guidance as the king of cups
Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Empress. Oh, my goodness. Divine guidance is basically that, you know, you've got to come from some form of solid ground and be prepared and open and receptive to communication. There could be some feelings that are explored and shared um, that could kind of even come out of the blue a little bit because we, I see some finality between you here. But if you are open and receptive to moving beyond the tower and your person is open and receptive to moving beyond and manifesting this opportunity with you, right, to bring you um, an offer from their heart and move beyond the conflicts and the tension that existed. And if you can both get out of your own doldrums and, and see yourselves as, as people who are um, master creators of your own reality, Whew, there it is. So Spirit's saying the divine guidance is be open and receptive to some communication that comes from a deep reservoir of feelings that you may not be aware of. Queen of Pentacles is like, be that, be that solid place to land. The Queen of Cups is a soft place. The Queen of Pentacles is a solid place because that's what this person remembers from you is that they know that they can kind of count on you to sort of be, I don't want to say the same because we all grow and change, but like the, the dynamic between you is consistent because you're consistent. And that's what this person is going to be seeking out, is that solid consistency. <sighs> Beautiful. Divine feminine energy. But of course. So that's what I have for you for now. If you have been enjoying my readings all along and you haven't yet, please do subscribe below. Don't forget to click the notification bell. Like and share if you feel called to do so. Give me a mention at Awaken Priestess. That always helps to get more eyeballs on the readings. That's what I'm here for. Um, and I'm going to take it to the extended. So for those of you who have a membership of any kind, you have access to it already. Um, but there is a link below that says one time purchase if you're just interested in checking it out. So here's what we have astrologically. We have the moon is Pisces. The tower is Mars, which rules Aries. Queen of Cups is the nice, gentle Cancerian energy. Um, Knight of Cups is Pisces. The Magician is out twice. That's Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. We have the um, Nine of Pentacles is some Virgo. The Libra in the Justice card here. We have the Star is um, Aquarian energy, more Virgo in the Knight of Pentacles. The world, as I said, is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. King of Cups is some Scorpio energy. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, and of course, Venus in the Empress, which rules um, Taurus and Libra. So we're going to take a look at, um, in the extended, from this King of Cups person's point of view. Uh, that's who I feel we're talking about. And, it, you know, we already know their present energy is the Knight of Cups, so that's good. But I want to see what's happening with them. Like, what's going on? Well, how might you be able to get a better handle on what they're processing or how they're seeing things? How do they see you, think about you, feel about you at this time? What are their intentions toward you going forward? I also want to get a hidden energy, something you can't see that you might want to know, and what this person wants you to know specifically. What is their message to you? So that's what I'm going to do in the extended. I'm heading there now. Thanks for joining me. See you there.